Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a more kind of laid back video. I've been doing a lot of tutorials lately and kind of just like throwing different products at you guys and stuff that I have like just tried, but not really going in depth about it. So I kind of want to make this video just about one product and that is about the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation in Fair. And I did try this in my last tutorial or the one before that, I can't really remember, but I used it pretty recently and I haven't used it since, but in that video I have never tried a foundation that looked so good on my skin. It was the perfect amount of dewiness, it was the perfect shade for me, perfect amount of coverage, and I just wanted to do a video dedicated to it and wear it throughout the whole day for like 10 or so hours and kind of see how it wears and if it's a foundation that I'm gonna continue buying. But yeah, so I'm gonna kinda do like a vlog style video. I also haven't done vlogs in a very, very long time. I've seen so many comments of people saying, that they miss my wear test videos and my vlogs. So I'm gonna kinda combine this video into one. Just kinda take you throughout my day. It's gonna be a very laid back day. I need to clean and I need to meal prep because now I have a regular job and so I need to have food ready to eat for lunch and I can't just like make things on the spot like I always do. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so it's around 11 a.m. right now and I'm just gonna use the products that I normally use on my face like every day, but just including this foundation. Lately, I have not been wearing foundation, but since it's getting really cold outside, I might start wearing foundation again. I just avoid wearing foundation because I don't like being hot and having an extra layer of stuff on my face. So I usually just um, go to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I just like blend it all over my face, but I think I'm gonna start wearing foundation again just to give me that little extra moisture in the winter time now that I'm not gonna be sweating my balls off. So I'm first going in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and I've been using this for a very very long time now. It's one of my favorite primers It just gives my skin the most beautiful glow. I don't know it just like kind of makes me look healthier almost like even if I'm not wearing makeup during the day I'll just go ahead and put this on with a little bit of highlighter and my skin just looks so good It is kind of an expensive highlighter, but it truly lasts for a really long time like I think I've only bought three of these in my lifetime and I have used that this primer like every single day for so long. All right, and now I'm gonna go in with this foundation. It is one of those interesting bottles, this type of applicator. I'm not sure if I like that, if I'm being honest. I think I prefer pump bottles, but maybe this will help get all the product out of the bottle, like so I'm able to scoop it, if that makes sense. It's also not the most sanitary way of putting on foundation, but I guess it's the same way of putting on concealer, so it's really no different. All right, so I'm just going to blend this into my skin. I think I'm just gonna do a light layer because I don't normally put on two layers of foundation. See, look how good my skin looks. It's like perfect amount of dew. I don't know, throughout the day it might be too much dew, um, when I get a little bit greasy, but I think with powder on top of it, it'll be fine. It just like, it makes my skin look so good and it's like not too high coverage where it's like feeling cakey. It's also a very liquidy foundation, so you know it's like a thin consistency, so it doesn't feel like goopy or anything. All right, and that's it for the foundation. Pretty easy to blend out. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go with my regular face routine that I do every single day. So I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is in Fair Beige. Just gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes. I never use too much of this because a little goes a very long way with it. This is a random thought, but has anyone seen the trailer for the new Lion King. I am so, I don't think I've ever been so excited for a movie in such a long time. Lion King was and still is my favorite like childhood movie. It is so good. And I was like scrolling through Twitter when the um, trailer came out and I saw so many people that were, <laughs> that were commenting on the trailer or like retweeting it and saying that they've never seen the original. And I've never like, I, I'm so disappointed that so many people haven't seen the original. It is the best movie. If you haven't seen it, you need to go see it. All right, skin's looking real nice. We're gonna go ahead and set that with the Nabla Cosmetics 
close-up translucent setting powder this has been my favorite setting powder for the past like month or so I've used it every single day and I really really like it keeps everything in place for a long time and I always bake underneath my eyes just right underneath my eyes and also on my eyelids this does make a huge difference like if I just dust powder underneath my eyes my eyes will crease like without a doubt throughout the day and also a little bit on my smile lines and then I will just take a big fluffy brush and go over the rest of my face just kind of brush off that bake all right and then I'm gonna bronze up my face just a little bit with the Bahama Mama bronzer by the bomb Just add a little bit of life back into my face. All right, and to add a little bit of blush, I'm taking the Tarte 24 Hour Blush, and this is in the shade Exposed, one of my favorite blushes. And then adding some highlight, I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics Highlight in Pillow Talk, my favorite highlight. Also, yes, I do use this brush for my whole face, and ever since I started using this in the beginning of summer, I have not gone back from it. It is my favorite brush. It just applies everything so beautifully. It's extremely expensive for a makeup brush, but it's worth it. Okay, and I'm gonna set my face just a little bit with some setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I like how I say a little bit and I literally drench my face in it. Okay, and my eyebrows are microbladed, but whenever I put concealer or foundation on, it always covers them up a little bit. So I'm just taking the Nabla Cosmetics Brow Divine um, Eyebrow Pencil, and this is in Venus. It's like their taupe color. I kind of just go over the same outline that I already have. I think next time I get my eyebrows done, I'm gonna go thicker and darker. I went pretty natural the first time, which I'm happy I did because it kind of like eased me into it. But now that I like know what I want and I know that I'm not gonna freak out with them like tattooed on my face, I wanna go like thicker and darker. Okay, and then I just put a little bit of clear brow, gels on, brow gel on there. I just used the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel and I always brush my hairs upwards. I'm really into like that fluffy brow look. Okay, and that is all I'm gonna be wearing on my face today. I'm also gonna be wearing my glasses just to see how the foundation holds up underneath the little nose pieces. And yeah, I'm just gonna take you throughout my day. I'm also gonna wipe the foundation off my lips and put some chapstick on. So don't you worry about that, okay. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. All right, so it's been a few hours and wow, I haven't vlogged in a really long time and this camera is kind of heavy. So sorry if I'm shaking a little bit. Um, so I cleaned my whole apartment, which I'm very happy about. It was disgusting. I spent like a week at my mom's for Thanksgiving me and Chloe both did and this apartment just kind of like smelt bad when we came back so I like just really had to clean it and make it livable again and now I'm going to meal prep just a little bit but I wanted to give you guys an update on my foundation it honestly looks really good I feel like I've sweated a little bit running around with this sweatshirt on and oh my god I'm like so out of breath I can't breathe. But yeah, I don't feel like it's moved at all. I don't feel like it's oxidized. I do feel the sides of my nose kind of getting a little bit greasy, but that's pretty normal. It hasn't moved a ton, but we will have to check back on that later throughout the day because it's usually like after four or five hours where my nose area starts getting like super greasy and starts coming off. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Also, here's my freshly clean apartment. I feel like I haven't walked you guys around my apartment in so long. Literally nothing has changed, but wait, did I give you guys an update? I feel like I, oh, Lenny was saying that I feel like I gave you guys an apartment update not that long ago. Winnie! Oh, there's his toesies. Winnie, hi! You haven't been on camera in so long. Okay, I'll put you back. He always does that. He literally rips apart my bed every day just to make himself a little tunnel. I missed another creature. I missed another creature. Finn! Hi! He, this is his new spot. He loves to make himself a little tunnel on this chair. And if the blanket isn't just right, he'll sit on the chair and just stare at us until we fix it for him. 
But yeah, this is his new little nap spot. It's so cute. We brought them over to my mom's house for Thanksgiving and they got to play with my mom's cats and have a really good time. All right, so I just spent the last hour or so just cutting up some vegetables for lunches and stuff with Finn's help. And I honestly, like, I don't know. What do you make for lunches? I just did potatoes and asparagus, cut up some veggies, and I'm gonna put some like hummus in there and some strawberries, and then I have like chips and granola bars and stuff, but I don't know. I just like, I'm not creative when it comes to food, and I feel like I don't have enough, I don't have really any protein in these lunches, so I need to find like a good type of tofu or something to put in my lunches so I don't have to like constantly be eating like beans and stuff like that. I do put protein powder in our smoothies every morning, but I just feel like that's not enough, so I need to start finding some other source of protein if you are vegan or vegetarian and you have some things that you like to use for extra protein please let me know because i'm like drawing a blank and usually for lunches i would do like amy's frozen meals or something like that but i just feel like i really need to start upping my game with my health especially with thanksgiving just happening like I cheated with being vegan, I ate dairy, I ate butter and mashed potatoes, and it's not good, but I'm human, and if there's mashed potatoes with regular butter in them, and it's the only mashed potatoes there, I can't resist mashed potatoes, okay? <laughs> I can't do it! But yeah, you know, shit happens, so I'm getting back on track, and I just, I feel like crap, so I need to make myself feel better by eating healthier. Okay, it is currently almost 6 p.m. I'm about to have dinner. I don't really know if you can tell how the foundation is doing in this lighting, but it feels fine. I haven't looked in the mirror yet. Probably should do that since it's been like six hours. But honestly, everything looks good. Like, it doesn't feel greasy. I don't really feel like I have makeup on my face, really. Um, I do notice that maybe my smile lines are creasing a little bit, but that's normal. I'll give you guys like a really good up close shot later tonight in my film lighting and stuff. It's just right now. It gets so dark so early at like seriously 4 p.m. It feels like nighttime, so the day days feel really short. So I can't really show you daytime lighting. And for dinner, I am not super hungry just because I've been snacking on like different veggies all day, but I'm just having some rice zucchini and mushrooms and I think I'm going to have some hummus and a little more veggies after this just trying to eat really clean here people okay everyone it is officially 9 p.m. it's been 10 hours since I put this foundation on and I'm honestly so impressed by this foundation the one bad thing I have to say about it is the sides of my nose did feel a lot greasier than they normally do, but I don't normally wear a layer of foundation on my face throughout the day. So I think that was to be expected, but that's pretty much the only complaint. I don't feel like I have had foundation on my skin. It literally hasn't moved at all. It looks the exact same from when I put it on. I don't even really have smile lines. I have a little one right here and a little one right here, but not as bad as I normally get. I don't see any creasing anywhere else on my face just everything looks really really good so I'm very impressed with it I just really wanted to review this foundation because a lot of people have been asking me to go more in depth about Wander Beauty just because it is a newer brand and not a lot of people really know about it and so I found a product that I really really like and I think I'm gonna continue using this for my daily routine just because of the results today like I'm very happy with it I did feel like I was sweating a little bit throughout the day when I was cleaning and like cooking and stuff. My head was over the steam. So I don't know, I'm just like really impressed with it. Didn't think that it was gonna hold up this well. I will have all the information about this foundation down below. I'll have the links and the pricing and stuff like that. I meant to do that in the beginning of the video, but I just totally blinked. So I'm just gonna have all the information down below. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos where I test out one product or if you're more of a fan of like full face first impressions where I try a bunch of products in one video. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.